over 30 years of counseling, one of the comments I have heard most frequently from naysayers is, oh, all that childhood crap and all your problems go back to childhood. That's BS. And people just need to learn to toughen up and get stronger. <laughs> and the funny part about that for me is what I've come to realize over 30 years. And that is when children are born, they are a perfectly calibrated machine. It's like buying a new Steinway piano or a new Ferrari. It is perfectly calibrated. More specifically, a child is a perfectly tuned pain meter. And every time a small amount of pain registers on that meter, that needle dances just a little bit, just a little bit. And if that child is not given permission to express that or doesn't have tools for getting that pain out, then what happens is that small amount of pain gets zeroed out, gets recalibrated to the new baseline. And if that young baby and that child and that preteen and the teen and the young adult doesn't have tools for getting out the inevitable pains and fears and negative messages they receive about themselves, if they don't have tools for getting those things out of them, then what happens is that new level of pain gets zeroed out as their new baseline. That means it takes more and more pain to happen before that needle dances a little bit anymore. We'll allow that to persist through adulthood and more and more pain. And if you identify strength as how much you can endure, then you're going to keep zeroing out your pain meter at higher and higher levels till eventually you can't handle it anymore and the system shuts down your health starts going to crap, or your relationships tank, or your otherwise successful career, now you're spending three, four, five hours a day just staring at the ceiling or staring at your computer screen because your pain meter has gotten so high that it, you're in system shutdown. All of your systems are in override, right? That means your pain meter has been zeroed out at such a high level that it takes so much for you even to feel a little thing. And so what happens is people come to me and say, and say I, my life's gone to crap. I don't know what's wrong. And my job is to get out all of the pain, the fears, and the BS beliefs they've been taught about themselves so that their pain meter can be recalibrated back to the finely tuned sensitive instrument that it once was. That means that even if a little bit of pain registers in their life, the meter dances, the needle dances, and they don't allow it. People say to me, well, that's just a pussy somebody who can't take pain. I said, and I say, no, 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 it's not they can't take it. They can. Strength isn't how much you can take. Strength is knowing you can take it because you have mechanisms for getting it out. That no matter what happens, I'll be okay because I've taught myself the tools. I've learned the mechanisms. I've given myself permission to go into the pain and get the pain out. The people who just think, well, I can just be tougher and tougher and tougher and tougher, their pain meter is way over here and they've become so desensitized to life that talking to them is like talking to a, a brick wall. That a relationship with them is dry and empty and hollow because they have no feeling, they have no affect because they've had to shut down all of their feelings. All of it has just led to this pain meter that's way over here and their life is broken. And so the task is to get all of that stuff out. And you can do it with a therapist or you can do it very, very quickly on your own because there are tools. I've created tools such as my book, There's a Hole in My Love Cup. You can get it at my website, badasscounseling.com. The point is, it's recalibrating that so that you're aware. You finally have what the Buddhists call awareness. I'm not Buddhist, but I'll steal from anyone. This awareness, not of what's going on around you, but of what's going on inside of you. Because your insides are always speaking. What feels off? What doesn't feel right? And we stop it right away. We trust our internal pain meter, our internal voice. And if that meter has been broken, you have no communication with your own self, your own soul speaking to you from within. So when do you have the courage to finally flush it all out and reset that meter so that you're in tune to your real self and you're no longer allowing crap in your life? You got the guts? Have a kick-ass day.